And then the next thing we need... Oh, scared the... Man. I don't know why that scared me. He's my Sarko. He still scared me. All right. What's going on, guys? TBF Gaming. We are back with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One. We're still going primitive single player. We're back recording another episode. We're so excited to get, get going today. It's been a couple days since we've been able to record. been such a busy week. Man, we're just uh, re ready to get into our get a couple things done. Really enjoying Primitive Plus. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, Ragnarok should be coming in about, what, 10, 12, 13 days, something like that, if it actually comes out this time. This is the third or fourth time that we've talked about it coming out, and it has not come out yet. So uh, we are going to keep going with this series, though. Even when the, our Ragnarok comes out, right now we're recording every other day with Primitive Plus. And we're going to keep doing that, uh, but when Ragnarok comes, we're going to go pretty much uh, every day of Ark. So we'll go one day Ragnarok, one day Primitive Plus, and bounce that back and forth, at least during the weekdays for sure. Uh, and we'll have to see if I can keep up with it during the weekend. So it's going to be a lot of recording. I'm not 100% sure if I can keep up with it. We'll see. This is super part-time. That's right. Oh, i got to put all this stuff in the, uh, the troughs in here. We're getting our crops all situated here. Uh, but yeah, we're, so we're going to go uh, almost every day Ark. So we're going to try and keep up with that. Like I said, this is... I got a really small channel. This is like super part time. I got full time job, full time family, full time uh, gym. Pretty much like so many things going on that it's kind of hard to keep up with it. So, see, I need at least 400 thatch here. Uh, you'll notice my my rates are back up a little bit. I had to pump them back up a little bit in order for me to actually build things on single player. I got to keep my rates a little bit higher. So I know it's some people don't like it because they think it's you know kind of cheaty. But I don't play that much in terms of hours. So I really got to maximize. The time that I do get on here so I can't spend a lot of time grinding but we still try to make it make sure I'm you know going through the experience of it but definitely not quite like a you know the basic experience see we need two stacks of that and a whole bunch of that now oh, we get a little bit more there we go so we should get some fertilizer out of that and then let's put them on here too uh, but we're, we're super excited to jump into Ragnarok we can't wait for that to actually come out we know we got a, a few more days to wait on that really hoping there's no problems with it once, oh, too many. Once they actually, once that actually drops, we're, I'm gonna probably do a dedicated server. That's the plan. I know there's a few people that wanted to kind of maybe play on a dedicated server. And I've kind of been bouncing that idea around, uh, you know, just to kind of have like an open server. Nothing, nothing crazy to get onto. It. You see, we already got a bunch of fertilizer on here. I'm kind of, I'm kind of jumping through subjects, but we got a bunch of fertilizer on here. We did up our rates for our crops just a little bit, so we can get a little few more crops going. You can see we got quite a few rock carrot over here. If it'll ever let me look, please. There we go. All right, so we got tons of rock carrot. Uh, the wheat grows. This is why we upped it because the wheat, even with the boosted rates here, the wheat grows crazy slow. So we had to really, really uh, bump the rates up a little bit to get that going. So let's make sure we got enough uh, stuff in all these. Which ones are getting low here? No, fifty thousand there. Fertilizer. Ooh, this one's getting really low. Let's put some more on here. No, so nothing says fresh crops like poop all over it. There we go. Oh, not Titan. What am I doing here? I'm just going to empty this in here because we'll have some fertilizer going pretty quick. So we'll be able to make sure uh, everything has enough fertilizer going. All right. So with the Primitive Plus, we're like I said, we're going to definitely keep going with that every other day. Hopefully there's no problems with that when the actual launch comes out. And we're hoping there's no like wipe issues or anything like that because we want to keep going with this. Uh, really enjoying kind of like how we got things going here. Uh, we got to get going into a little more primitive plus stuff, though. A little, a little more plusy. Let me see. So we did get into this. We got some leather going. So I need to get some more stuff on here. But you pretty much put salt and leather up here. So we, I mean, a salt and hide, and you get some leather out of it. And then over here, we got our uh, oh, what is this thing called? The preserving campfire. So we should get some preserved meat out of this. Haven't actually seen any go yet. Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not sure how long it takes for this one. I feel like they're gonna start spoiling before it actually changes so I'll keep an eye on that see if that actually comes out and then what else one more one more thing we got going oh and I did I did mess up and get rid of our crystal I I grinded all the crystal and the salt so that was a little bit of a mistake but that's okay so we got tons and tons of salt even though I don't know what we're going to use that much for uh, and that means I have to go do some more crystal runs too so it's kind of a bummer and we're doing okay on narcotic I need to probably go get probably do some more berries I got lots of spoiled meat but I need to go do a couple more berry runs to get that going uh, keeping up with everything, uh, metal we're almost out of again, or I'm sorry, not, not metal, what do they call it on Primitive Plus, uh, iron ingot, we're almost out of iron 
in ingot. So we're almost out of that. We've got tons of charcoal, but I haven't made any bullets yet. So I got the, that charcoal there. Plus I've been stacking it over here. So we're get, getting pretty high on the charcoal. So we'll be able to make some actual firearm stuff. I think they got some kind of musket thing that we're going to get going with this. Uh, but it's time to finally... Man, we just rambled for like an hour and a half, right? But it's time to finally... we got we got to outfit this little house over here. So we got a little, you know, uh, seaside village going over here. Uh, why did I leave him out in the water? I'm not sure. But we got a little seaside village over here. We need to start outfitting the inside of it so that way there's actually, you know... So we can actually use it down here. We're down here quite a bit doing some things. So we got, we got to start putting some things in here. So we did make up... Uh, one of the new things that we got going here, the advanced workbench. Let's do that right there. So the advanced workbench, if I'm reading it correctly, uh, just works like a, a smitty, right? I'm, I'm fairly sure that's what it does. Let's see. Line it up kind of close to the wall. It doesn't got to be perfect here. We're not going for you know, crazy perfect. Let's go. Bam. It's not going through the wall. It's all perfect. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. So the advanced workbench theoretically should work just like, yeah, so it works just like the actual smitty, but everything takes a little bit less in terms of, let's find out for sure, it takes a little bit less in terms of supplies. So normally it's 900 stone, 900 thatch, and 900 wood for a behemoth gate. It's only 675, so you see it, it does cut it down quite a bit, so that'll save us on supplies just a little bit, so that'll cut down that. So on this side here, I'm going to do... I'm going to do some of my crafting stuff on this side. And then I think we either go storage like across this entire wall here or across this back wall here. So I'm going to, let me see what we got for storage. I haven't checked for primitive plus if there's like a se separate storage thing here. Let's see. Go over and let's go like this. Oh, can we not type? There we go. Storage. Store. Uh, all right, so we got large storage, wood storage shed. Hmm. Store bulk amounts of wood and thatch. So that's just for wood and thatch. Okay, very cool. This, store bulk amounts of anything. So this is probably what we want to get into. So we need some iron, some lumber, some wood. And then we, so to get that, we need a construction table. So let's get us a construction table made. Do I make that over here? So we need to know what we need for that. Let's see, structures, crafting, no. Um. Okay, I don't actually know how to make a construction table here. Let's see. Is it going to be in this one? Let's go like that. Let's type in table. Bam. There we go, construction cable. So I need a little bit of iron, a little bit of stone, and a little bit of hide. So unfortunately, we actually got all that stuff. So give me just a few minutes. I'm going to make up a construction table. A maybe a refining forge or two down here because we already got the three up there, so we don't need too many. But I'll do one or two down here, and then we'll get into a bunch of uh, storage, and we'll stack them up over here if we do the bulk ones. And then it'll be time to just kind of, you know, fill those up as best we can. So I'm gonna go make the couple things I need, and then we will be right back. All right, well we got a couple things built. Uh, we're gonna need quite a few more supplies to really get this going. But let we want to see how big. Let's go this way with it. We want to see how big the actual storage is. It's going to be a little hard to line up just right here, but we're going to get it as close to the wall as we can. There we go. That's probably where it bleeds through there. I think we're okay straight-wise. Oh, let's go like that. Oh, no. Did we, go, did we go through the wall? No, we did okay. We did okay. All right. So there's there's one. So that's how big they are. I don't know how many, how many spots do these have. And these can take pretty much everything if I'm counting right. Yep. So they get 100 storage spots. And we can store everything in there. Awesome. Let's take all that back. All right. So let's put, we got just two of them made right now. So it, it, it's going to be a minute before we get, you know, all these going all the way. Let's see. Line up as straight as we can here. Let's back it up till they touch. Oh, back up, back up. All right. Oh, that's, that's pretty close. We probably should have done just a little bit of separation, but that's okay. Save, saves us a lot of space. And you can see we can be able to get a lot of storage in that little bit of space like there. So we like that. That's awesome. What else, what else did we get made here? Oh, we got a uh, we got a bed made. We got a hand mill made. So let's put our hand mill over here. Oh, that scared me. All right, so let's put our hand mill right over here in the middle. Get kind of lined up somewhat over here. Let's go to the wall. Scoot back. I think we're just off a little bit. 
feel like we're crooked. How bad is that? That's not too bad. So there we go. We got our hand mill. We got our crafting or our construction table and our workbench. So we got everything going there. We got as much storage as we can on this side. And in bed, we're just throwing this other corner here. That way, we got to respawn over here too. Let's see. Grab that. And we've learned to always put two beds down. That way, if we if we have to spawn a couple times in a short amount of time because we keep dying, uh, we make sure we have a a couple beds here so we can respawn quickly. So we just put them almost right on top of each other. So if you kind of spread them out, it makes it look like a little bit bigger bed. So kind of cool. Gives it like a little extended pillow. So there we go. Got that. Got a couple of those things made. Now the goal is going to be get quite a few of these, but for that I'm going to need way more iron. So let's see. This is what I need for it. I have, let's go over to structures, wood, oh, we're freezing, storage, and see, so I got plenty of fiber, tons of lumber here, and I can get wood pretty quickly, but iron's going to take me just a minute. So luckily, we have, as soon as I figure out where I parked him, somewhere we have a new RG. So if you guys go back and watch the last episode, you can see me tame our new RG and our new Sarko. So unfortunately, the RG was not the one we wanted. It was just lower than the one we want. So he, this is this is leftover. That's the one that was left over. And then we were able to get a level 120 Sarka that we tamed out to a 179. So not too bad. So it's good for our first Sarka. We're really hoping for one more high level, uh, something over 200 when it tames out. That's what we really want. But let's get... Did we get you an RG saddle yet? I could have swore I made one. Did I make one? Hmm. I'm fairly certain I made one over there. But the nice thing is, so once we get this guy leveled up, right now he's already sitting at 697 weight. There you go, 759 weight, so it's almost 800 weight. We want to get that up over 1,000, so we'll be able to make some more trips up to the mountain, get some actual iron and crystal and some of these other things that we really got to get going, uh, like to, to actually start advancing in our builds and stuff like that. So that guy's going to help us out a lot. So we're going to get, let's get our storage really built up over there. I'm going to get us a little bit of iron going. I'm pretty sure, you know, I, I could be wrong. Where are we at here? Oh, and I think we pointed this out, but watch this. This has been a glitch in Ark forever. You can see the inside there is raining. But when you go into a house, it actually stops. So that's, I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but that's something that took them a long time to get right in Ark. So let's see. Should be an RG saddle here. Did we make one? Maybe we didn't make one. I, man, I swore we made one. Okay. No problem. We can make us an RG saddle. Let's see what do we need for it. Because I think it was up here. We need oh, cause that's that's why we didn't we had to get oh yeah. See, I got the kite the chitin together. Check it out. We got chitin. We got some hide. What else do we need? We need fiber, which is easy. Oh, and I still need more hide. I don't have more hide. So I'm gonna have to run out and get some hide. So give me a few minutes to go get hide and what I say a little more what. Short short memory. I need. We just said a little more fiber and a little more hide. So that's what we got to get real quick. So let's grab one of our guys here, and then I'll be right back. All right, we made it up to the mountain. We're going to see how much uh, how much actual crystal or whatever we can get put on our bird here. We kind of go around to these little nodes right here. So the first time we put up the mountain, actually, uh, up to the volcano on Primitive Plus, I was actually kind of curious to see if it changed at all on Primitive Plus. I was kind of thinking maybe it would because... The tech cave doesn't make a lot of sense on Primitive Plus, but I guess it would stay the same. But uh, I can't really go in there because the heat's so bad. But we'll stay out here and get as much uh, crystals we can get going and take back with us. Get some of that. And then we'll also get a little bit of iron and maybe a little bit of carbon and limestone. Can I take a little bit of everything back? That way we can have uh, you know start upping our supplies back there. Right. And we got quite a bit of weight that we can put on this guy right now. We level him up just a little bit on the way here, so he's up to... 800 weight and 1500 stamina so that helps out quite a bit so we'll put that on there that on there that on there that and that and then we'll drop the stone we can get plenty of that back at base and i don't know why we didn't drop the eggs beforehand i hate to drop this right now but we really just don't need it right now so kind of a bummer to drop it but we'll we'll, we'll get some eggs for that later so let's get us a little more metal going here get just plenty or sorry not metal not metal iron because it is primitive plus a little bit different but we'll at least we get a, a few hundred of this that we can take back. Oh, did I just get too much? I did. All right, let's drop. Uh, we'll drop that. And we'll come back and get it. Go throw this on the bird. 
Bam, bam, and bam. All right, we should be able to get just a little bit more. Let's switch and use this one, see what we get with this. There we go, it gives a little more carbon. I'm not sure what we use carbon for, <laughs> but we'll, we'll figure all that out. Let's throw that right there, that right there. That puts 693, is that gonna be, are we gonna be too heavy? We are. So you know, we're, we're gonna go ahead and drop just cause I don't, I don't actually know what it's for just yet. We're gonna drop the carbon. Cause I don't know the limestone and the carbon, what we really need it for. We haven't had like something pop up that we're like, hey, we need to make that. So let's see, uh, we should be able to fly almost all the way back to base. Oh, so before we cut the camera here, we did just get in reading some of the patch notes. We're pretty excited. Looks like they're finally going to roll out the tameable Titan Boa here pretty soon. So that's going to be a huge change. If we be able to finally tame that thing, that'd be kind of nice. Uh, I think it'd be kind of cool to have like a little group of Titan Boas that you take take around with you. And then in addition to that, they're going to make it to where you can use the spyglass. So just like how we use the spyglass while we're on the bird to check things out. If you've noticed, underwater you can't do that when you're on one of the fish animals. So... Uh, now they're going to add it to where you can finally do that, both for the spyglass and I think they said GPS will both be uh, usable on all the uh, water tames now. So, all right, so it's going to take me a few minutes to get back to base, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here, and we will be right back. There we go. We got three more storages, so that'll help out a little bit over here. We're going to keep making those. It's going to take a few, probably an episode or two to get as many as we want over here. So let's get this lined up, kind of ish. Uh, oh, messed that up. Um. Nah, that's fine. How bad are we off there? Okay, there's that space that we wanted the first time, but we definitely went a little too far this time. Let's make sure this next one's a little closer. Let's see, like, uh, there, and then back this out, and there. So, a little uneven there. The first two are really close, and the other one's got a decent space in between them, but that's, that's more how we want them, which is a tiny bit of space, so it's easier to differentiate. All right, so that that's good there. Uh, we did get, oh, that's right, saddles. Oh, and we noticed we did have an extra RG saddle. We just didn't, for some reason, couldn't see it when we kept looking at our inventory. So now we have a Sarko saddle. So let's throw this guy in here. Bam. There, we got a Sarko saddle. So now we should be good to go. And this will actually help for underwater because he's a little faster underwater. And with our oxygen, this will help out. We can actually uh, get down underwater pretty quickly with this guy. And then we just got to watch our oxygen, but now maybe we'll be able to make it down to the actual... Let's, let's kind of watch it here. We should be able to make it down far enough under to actually get to that cave. So that's oh, 85. Got to be a little careful. There's a lead six is down here somewhere. But it should be right around this little... Right up past this corner here. Should be the entrance. Just going to watch our oxygen, which is still pretty good. We put a lot into oxygen so we can last a little while down here. Okay. But we just got to be careful because it's usually where we see some bad people. All right, let's just be careful. Don't want to lose our guy first time down here. So there it is. There's the entrance to the cave. So we know now. We've, we've verified that we can at least get down here. And we didn't see anything bad yet, which is really good. <laughs> so that's good. No no instant death down here. Oh, there's... No, that's just with Dunkosaurus. Okay. So looks like nothing bad right next to the entrance. So we might be able to make it in there. Uh, once we're in there, I don't know. Because I haven't actually ventured into these underwater caves. So it may be really bad once we get in there. But... The Sarko is going to allow us to finally get down into the water a little bit. Let's, let's get back to the surface here. He just does not surface very fast. So when it's time to surface, we've got to be a little careful. Let's get back up top. There we go. All right. There we go. So you can see definitely a lot faster than what we were doing with the Megalodon. So that'll help out so much. There we go with that. So the Sarko is going to give us some business underwater. Perfect. Let's cruise them back over here. It's just so bright we can't see anything here. Man, we're having too much trouble. He won't stay on the surface for me. There we go. Let's look right here. And you can see that we're having problems with the glare yet again. There we go. 55? No, no, not worth it. Just making sure. Seems to be something that was worth it. Anything over 100, we're definitely going to stop whatever we're doing to tame. So there we go. So we got a Sarko saddle, so we're good to go there. And then the next thing we need... Oh, scared the... Man. I don't know why that scared me. He's my Sarko. He still scared me. All right. Next one, if I can get up through door. Why am I... Why can I suddenly not make it through my own door? Hmm. All right. The next thing we can do is go ahead and throw a saddle on this guy. Bam. 
Let's go ahead and put our RG set over here so we don't have that extra weight on us. Let's see. Bam. And we're going to throw the rest of the stuff on there too. There we go. There we go. Throw that. Throw that. Throw that. Throw that. Uh, we're going to throw that just to get it off our inventory. All right. Let's see. So there we go. The Pelagornis now has a saddle. Let's see. There we go. Taking flight with the Pelagornis. Pelagornis is pretty fun. I don't imagine... God, it's so hard to see in that area. And it, we can't even use the admin command for that anymore to get rid of that glare. So we're real sorry about that. But Pelagornis we don't use quite a lot. Like, I think it might be handy for some things. But overall, just kind of... More of just a fun dino. Not really something that's like, super useful. But we're going to mess with that one just, just a little bit here and there. It's going to be good to have it. Go ahead and set him down right here. I want to see if I could actually fit the RG once we're done freezing here. Come on now. Hmm. We made the game mad. <laughs> oh man, did we like... There we go. So we kind of froze the game for a minute there. Luckily the, the fix still works. Alright. And we can still get our RG through there. So that'd be perfect. Because that's going to be our weight RG. So we got to definitely better make them in there. Uh, we got leftover leveled up just a little bit. We're up to 3600 health. We got... Uh, where are we at here? 1000 weight. And about 600 melee damage. Man, I wish we could do speed because this guy is so slow. But let's go ahead and heal him up just a little bit so he has full health. But so we got quite a bit quite a bit done for that. So that gives us a little bit of things we can do at the base over here. We want to make a few more. We got to do a few more storages over here. Start filling those up as best we can. And then we'll keep going with the lumber. And we are going to build one more little section. Oh, dang it. We're going to, let's, where's our thing here? Passive. Make sure everybody's passive. All right, let's keep an RG here. All right, are we making contact? Maybe, possibly. All right, we're having a little bit of trouble making contact here. Come on, get him, get him. All right, we're just gonna have to let these guys get rid of him. Go ahead, take him out, Lucy. Attack. Good job, Lucy. <laughs> There we go, get a little bit of food in our, our Sarko here, so our Sarko will be good to go. In fact, we'll attack this guy too. Bam! There we go, plenty of meat there. So Sarko is going to really help out. It's going to give us a lot of underwater action here. Alright, let's uh... Oh, we got lots of levels for him too, so we can start leveling up a bunch of stuff. I don't know if movement speed works for underwater for these guys. I don't think it does. Uh, we're going to mess with it a little bit. We're going to pump melee big time, and then we will definitely pump stamina and health so there we go pump it a little bit of everything there so we need a name for the sarco for sure and then we still need a name for the pelagornis who's trying to fly around again he likes to leave so often let's park him over here all right and let's make sure if nothing else that this guy we want to make sure that he is not doing anything crazy what we got here stance Neutral, we're going to change you to passive. Bam. There we go. Much better. All right. There we go. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to get a few more storages done. But I, I think that's all we're going to get done today. It's kind of a... Oh, dang it. What level are you? Oh, man. I would really like to... It's only 45. That's okay. You guys take him out. Dang. So he kind of wandered out of nowhere, right? Yep. It's okay, leftover. You can stand down. Stand down. <laughs> Let's land you back on the ground here. Yeah, but like I said, I think that's all we're going to get done today. This was mainly just kind of a, we got to get our house in order kind of thing. We're going to start building right there off the side of the dock. So we can have, just like on this side right here, we're going to do kind of the same thing on the on the other side. Like a little, we're going to do a little pin for the, uh, you know, the sarcos and the, the frogs. And hopefully we can get some capros, even though they're really a pain in the butt to tame single player. But man, so we, we got a little bit of things going. So as the fog rolls in here, I think we're going to end it right here. Uh, kind of a short episode, kind of not a lot going on. Last episode we did a little bit of taming. This one we're just kind of getting things in order, getting some things built up over here. Uh, we want to finish this up and get a couple more water tames so we can move on to our next little village project, which is going to be right on the other side of that waterfall. We're going to start with our little carnivore village up there. So we're going to get that done, and then right on top of the waterfall, we're going to eventually make a like an aviary, something like that up there. So kind of like little spread out villages, kind of a little village type thing. And we're going to keep heading with that that overall idea. So that is going to do it for today. Oh, we're pantsless. That's awful. <laughs> but if you guys could, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. 
and I'll see you in the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One Primitive Playstyle.